Hello everyone, today is Friday. And of course, you know, I'm gonna have some more jokes for you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I apologize for them before I even tell them to you. But okay, here's the first one. What did the duck say when he bought lipstick? Put it on my bill. <laughs> All right, here's your next one. A blonde and a redhead have a ranch. They have just lost their bull. The woman needs to buy another, but only has $500. The redhead tells the blonde, I will go to the market and see if I can find one for under that amount. If I can, if I can, I'll send you a telegram. She goes on to the market and she finds one for $499. Having only $1 left, she goes to the telegraph office and finds out that it costs $1 per word. She is stumped on how to tell the blonde to bring the truck and trailer. Finally, she tells the telegraph operator to send the word comfortable. Skeptical, the operator asks, how is she going to know to come and bring the trailer just from that one word? Well, the redhead replies, well, she's a blonde, so she reads slow. Comfortable. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Let's go on to our quizzes or questions. Uh, there's going to be, again, 10 questions that are worth a point apiece, and they'll have a couple of bonus questions. And, of course, they are worth three points apiece if you get it right, three points if you get it wrong. And you don't have to take them if those, you don't have to do the bonus questions if you don't want to. But if you do, you have the chance of being able to make 16 points altogether. So here we go. Who was thrown into the lion's den by King Darius? Was it Demas, Daniel, or David? And the scripture reference kind of gives it away. But here we go. Daniel 6, verse 6 through 16. The answer is Daniel. I think you probably all got that right anyway. Question two. Who was chasing the Israelites when they crossed the Red Sea? Was it the Egyptians, Babylonians, or Persians? Exodus 14, verses 21 through 28 tells us it was the Egyptians. Number three, how many doors were in the ark? One, two, or four? Genesis 6, 16 tells us that there was just one. Number four, in what river did John the Baptist baptize Jesus? Was it the Nile, the Jordan, or the Tigris? Matthew 3, verses 13 through 15, tells us it was the Jordan. Number five, who betrayed Jesus? Was it Jairus, Jonas, or Judas? Matthew 26, verse 14 through 16, I bet everybody got this right, is Judas. And then here comes our bonus question. Again, it'll be associated with this last question. How much was Judas paid to betray Jesus? How much was Judas paid to betray Jesus? The answer is found in Matthew 26, 15, 30 pieces of silver. All right, let's move on to our next set of questions. With the crowd crying for death, Pilate took Jesus back inside the praetorium to do what? Question him, warn him, or set him free? John 19, verses 9 through 11 tells us that he questioned him. Number two, after speaking with Jesus, what did Pilate wish to do? Imprison him? Execute him? or release him. John 19 verse 12 says that he wanted to release him. Number three, when Pilate came out of the praetorium with Jesus, where did he sit? On his throne, on the judgment seat, at the head of the Pharisees table. John 19 verse 13 tells us that it was on the judgment seat. Number four, what was the Hebrew name for the judgment seat? Was it Gabbatha? Golgotha or Goshen or Golgotha, Golgotha. I always mess that up. Golgotha. And I probably said it wrong then. Too. But anyway, Gabbatha, Golgotha or Goshen. The answer is found in John 19, 13. It's Gabbatha. And that word means elevation. Number five, what did Pilate say to the crowd? He's telling the truth. He's a man of God or behold your king. John 19, 14 tells us, he says, behold your king. Now, here's the bonus question associated with that. What did the crowd say in response? What did the crowd say in response to that? Answers found in John 19, verse 15. We have no king but Caesar. All right. That brings us to the end of this lesson or this trivia, trivia questions. Used to say in lesson, what can I say? I'm a preacher. So anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day.